I'm talking with Cyril, who is the technical advisor for Harrison Solar. Now, we're talking about inverters. Inverters are the brains of the system. So there's a couple of options. Run me through those. OK. We have three options. The string inverters, mm -hmm. micro inverters, and power optimizers. Let's start with string inverters. OK. String inverters are where all the panels are wired in series on the roof, just like a Christmas tree mm -hmm. line. They're not individually optimized, which means that if one panel goes down, they all go down, similar to, your, again, your Christmas tree lights. This means that even if one panel is shaded by, say, a tree, a chimney, mm -hmm. is dirty, or is even facing in a different direction, all the panels are reducing their power output. String inverters have been around for a, a while now. Absolutely. And it's, it seems to be robust and reliable and... And, and they're cost effective. Yep. So they have their place in the market. So that takes us to microinverters. Can you tell me more about these? Absolutely. So microinverters have the same technology as a string inverter. Yep. But each inverter is placed under each panel. So it's miniaturised and it's put under the panel and the output of each panel is managed separately. It is changed from DC to AC. The panel puts out DC. Mm -hmm. The power we use is AC. AC. So it's converted from that DC to AC and sent straight to your switchboard. And then this option is the optimizer. How does this work? The power optimizer, also known as a DC optimizer mm. from Solar Edge. This is my personal preference. It's small, it's light, and again, each of these are wired under the panels on the roof. So 25 panels, you have 25, 25 of those. optimizers. These do the heavy lifting. They do the calculating of the sunlight coming from each panel. They work out how much power we can max, maximum power we can get out of mm -hmm. each panel is then sent to an inverter on the wall downstairs normally, yep. and there it is changed from DC to AC. So the, pan, the component count in this is a lot less than the microinverters. Warranty on these? 25 years, wow. as opposed to a typical 10 years on other microinverters. Okay, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get the panel optimization and greater reliability than with a microinverter. Absolutely. And then I'm always curious to know how well the system's working. So how do I know? Easy. Solar Edge have this monitoring app which we can look at and we can see the exact output of each panel if need be. Mm -hmm. And you can also see on here how much you're using, how much you might be sending back to the grid, weekly, monthly, yearly. Absolutely. Certainly keeps you well informed, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And the other little thing which I forgot to mention before was that the startup voltage on the solar edge optimizers is low. Therefore, we start producing power earlier in the day. So rather than waiting for the sun to get right up and, and onto the panels, you're saying that it starts you know, just after daybreak? Absolutely. Here's another thing that I've been thinking about too, is that the inverters are crucial if you're going to choose batteries later on. So if you want a battery system, you need to make the right choice about the inverters at the very start. So Cyril has certainly removed some of the mystery around this magical world of inverters for me, but if you need more information, then get in touch with Harrison's. No problem. And remember, at Harrison's we offer all three technologies, so one of our solar experts can come to your house and work out which is best suited for your place.